Hello, it's Rebecca from Britscent here. Today's video is going to be about the minimal pairs that occur in can and can't, or the difference between the sounds a and ah. Firstly, let's look at the a sound in can. To make this sound, you need to put your tongue low in your mouth and stretch your lips out, like this, can. Repeat after me, a, a, can. And in a sentence, can you speak English? Yes, you can. A, can, a, can. Sometimes the a in can is pronounced with a schwa instead. So instead of can, we say can. This often happens in a sentence where can is used as a modal verb. For example, instead of I can do that for you, it's more natural to say I can do that for you. And instead of she can drive us, we say she can drive us. Now let's look at the R sound in can't. To make this sound, the position of your tongue and jaw is the same, but your lips aren't stretched and it's a longer sound. The two dots next to the phonemic symbol mean that it's a longer sound. So listen, can't. Repeat after me, ah, ah, can't, ah, can't, ah, can't. And in a sentence, I can't do that or can't you reach it? Now let's look at some examples of can and can't in full sentences. Can you see that? No, I can't. I can't help you. Yes, you can. I can afford it. No, you can't. Ah, can. Ah, uh, can't. Can, can't. That's all for today. I hope that helps you with your pronunciation of a ah and ah. If you want to improve your pronunciation quickly, sign up for Lessons with Britsent. We offer one-to-one -one lessons either online or face-to-face. -face. See you next time. Bye-bye.